The first thing that caught my attention was the promise of a car with technology five years ahead of the competition. And, as bold as that sounds, the evidence is hard to ignore. The Tesla Model 2 arrives with an energy density of 300 Dautojuriwarg, something that giants like Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen only hope to achieve by 2029 or 2030. This time difference in the world of automotive technology is a chasm. To put it in perspective, this kind of advancement doesn't just mean more range, it means rethinking what a car can be. Higher density allows for lighter batteries with a smaller footprint and opens the door to a new type of structural design. And the secret lies in the internal chemistry, a proprietary compound that reduced the use of rare earth metals by 73% and increased lithium storage capacity by 40%. It seems like a technical detail, but it's precisely this kind of detail that determines whether or not a car will be a game changer. The audacity behind this is undeniable. While other automakers are still tied to legacy supplier contracts that limit innovation until the end of the decade, Tesla has been making updates every six months. It's like comparing a tech company to a paper mill. And the curious thing is, this difference isn't always in the hardware itself, but in how Tesla makes the hardware communicate with the software. The Model 2 isn't just an efficient machine. It's literally a computer on wheels. With its new tableless cell structure and direct integration into the chassis, they've managed to eliminate 93% of the components still common in competing cars. The result is a much lighter system with fewer points of failure and superior energy efficiency and we're still talking about the battery. But the real leap forward comes in the intelligence that drives it all. The Model 2's so-called silicon brain runs on a proprietary neural chip created using a five nanometer process. No off-the-shelf chips from NVIDIA or Qualcomm. This puts complete control in Tesla's hands and enables something that sounds like something out of science fiction, a processing capacity of 75 trillion operations per second. For comparison, this is more than double Tesla's own previous self-driving computer and nearly five times more powerful than any competitor on the market. And this power isn't wasted. It draws on a real database of over five billion miles driven by Teslas around the world. It's like training a driver with all the successes and failures of millions of drivers in real time. All of this translates into driving that, according to internal data, reduces the risk of accidents by up to five, eight times with autopilot activated. But this statistic doesn't come alone. What's striking is the package. 360 driller sensors, automatic braking, lane reading, and even the ability to predict pedestrian behavior at complex intersections. The car practically thinks with you or for you. And when you realize that this level of technology is included in the standard package, at no additional cost, it becomes clear that Tesla is trying to change not only the product, but the very concept of value in the automotive industry. Rivals, meanwhile, still charge a premium for limited systems that rely on much less robust data. Another point that might be overlooked at first glance is how closed and integrated this system is. Tesla designs the chip, writes the firmware, develops the software, trains the AI, and deploys everything in short update cycles without relying on third parties. This means the system evolves in sync without delays, bugs, or version conflicts that are common in automakers that outsource these steps. While others are still debating how to integrate Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, the Model 2 already operates with its own interface Tesla OS 2.0, which is fully native. Everything is designed to work together from the first screw to the last bite. And as if all this weren't enough, this same system ensures the car becomes increasingly intelligent over time. Weekly online updates bring performance improvements, new features, and even safety fixes, without the driver needing to take the car to a repair shop. On average, a Model 2 can receive more than 70 relevant upgrades in its first years of life. 
this completely changes the industry's logic of obsolescence. Instead of buying a car that begins to age as soon as it leaves the dealership, Model 2 owners will see their vehicle become more complete over time, while competitors still struggle to launch anything remotely equivalent. And it's precisely this technological advancement that supports something that, until recently, seemed impossible, offering a premium car for under $15,000. It sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not. This price range, historically occupied by simple, undercomfortable compact cars, is now being invaded by an electric vehicle with onboard AI, a cutting-edge battery, and its own operating system. And this isn't a miracle, but a chain of well-calculated decisions. Tesla has adopted a vertical production model, meaning it extracts most of the raw materials used, produces its own chips, assembles the vehicles, and even handles the final sale, all without intermediaries. This autonomy drastically reduces costs while speeding up the innovation process. Another key component is the assembly system known as the unboxed process, which essentially reinvents the traditional assembly line. While other manufacturers still operate with hundreds of sequential steps, Tesla created parallel assembly cells that work simultaneously, shortening production time and reducing the number of robots required by 50%. The result is a cleaner, faster, and cheaper to operate factory. And all these savings are directly reflected in the vehicle's final price without compromising quality or features. This process, combined with the use of the 50,000-ton gigapress that molds large chassis parts in seconds, demonstrates that cost savings come from engineering, not from sacrificing the user experience. Distribution also deviates from industry standards. No more dealerships with inflated sales targets and commissions. The Model 2 will be sold exclusively online with fixed and transparent pricing. This means consumers know exactly how much they'll pay, with no surprises, no hidden fees, and no tedious negotiations typical of dealerships. Furthermore, many buyers will be able to receive their car directly at home with direct delivery without needing to set foot in a physical store. This further reduces logistics and operating costs, and most importantly, it eliminates the 12% to 18% margin that, for traditional brands, goes directly to distributors. And when it comes to keeping the car running smoothly, Tesla has also found clever ways to cut costs. With 87% of issues resolved remotely through online updates, Model 2 owners rarely need to visit a repair shop. But if necessary, Tesla is already tripling the size of its mobile maintenance fleet. Vans that travel to customers' homes to handle everything from minor repairs to component replacements. This reduces the wait time for repairs from the industry average of 12 days to less than two days in many cases. This saves time, money, and patience, which weighs heavily on the purchasing decision, especially for families and drivers with busy schedules. But perhaps the most impressive statistic is the vehicle's operating cost. The Model 2 promises to be the car with the lowest cost per mile in the history of the automotive industry, less than two cents per mile. In a world where fuel, maintenance, and insurance are increasingly expensive, this kind of savings completely changes the profile of those who can afford to buy and maintain an electric car. For the first time, a recent college graduate, a retiree on a tight budget, or even a single mother will have access to a modern, safe, and affordable EV. And best of all, without having to sacrifice design, space, or connectivity. The vehicle's appreciation is also a strong point. It's estimated that the Model 2 will retain up to 67% of its market value after three years, well above the industry average of around 51%. This indicates that, in addition to being inexpensive to buy and maintain, it will also be a smarter investment in the long term. And with the model expected to remain competitive until 2035, thanks to its upgrade ecosystem and future-proof platform, it's clear that we're facing a redefinition of value in the automotive market. It's not just about how much you pay up front, but how much you save along the way. The scale of production that underpins all of this also deserves attention. 
The Tesla Model 2 won't just be an innovative product, it will be a mass market product. Manufacturing is already being prepared simultaneously in four gigafactories, Texas, Berlin, Shanghai, and the new facility in Mexico. Together, these facilities will have the capacity to produce 1.2 million units per year initially and are expected to reach 2.5 million by 2027. This volume represents not only a response to the expected high demand, but also an aggressive market share strategy. The more units produced, the lower the costs per vehicle and the greater the competitive advantage. The level of automation in these factories is also among the most advanced in the industry. Approximately 92% of the entire assembly process is automated, which far exceeds current industry standards, which range from 43% to 56%. Each production line has 219 robots working in perfect synchrony, optimized by algorithms that reduce bottlenecks and increase efficiency by 37%. This eliminates downtime, reduces errors, and ensures a virtually constant production rate. It's like a robotic orchestra, where each element knows its role and performs it with pinpoint precision. This intense automation is complemented by the use of modular parts shared between the Model 3 and Model Y. With 31% of components common across the three models, Tesla saves on logistics, storage, development, and even supply contracts. This creates economies of scale that lower costs and speeds up production, as many parts are already in stock and ready for use. Furthermore, Tesla was able to negotiate discounts of up to 28% on strategic materials like lithium and nickel, precisely because it purchases in such large volumes. Another decisive differentiator lies in the verticalization of production. While traditional automakers produce only between 35% and 42% of their vehicle's components, Tesla is manufacturing approximately 78% of the Model 2's components in-house. This gives it almost complete control over deadlines, quality, and costs, not to mention the freedom to test and implement innovations without relying on conservative suppliers. By concentrating the development of software, hardware, and even the supply chain, the company builds a closed and stable ecosystem that is difficult to copy or surpass in the short term. In terms of distribution, Tesla has practically reinvented the concept of car buying. The Model 2 can be purchased in just eight minutes through a 100% digital process. No lines, paperwork, or pressure from salespeople. And the car will be delivered directly to the buyer's home, bypassing dealerships. Currently, 82% of U.S. markets are already ready for this type of delivery, and international expansion is following suit. The direct-to-consumer model also ensures the price is the same for everyone, without the price roller coaster common in dealer networks. And when it comes to after-sales, the data is even more impressive. In addition to a tripled mobile maintenance fleet, Tesla service centers operate 31% more efficiently than traditional repair shops. This translates into much shorter average wait times, with simple repairs completed in as little as 1.8 days, a relief for those who've spent weeks without a car waiting for parts or service. The customer satisfaction rate is an impressive 97%, compared to about 61% among customers of traditional automakers. More than just selling a car, Tesla is redesigning the entire customer journey, from click to drive. What makes all this even more interesting is realizing that the Model 2 wasn't just designed as a technologically advanced and affordable vehicle, but as a genuine response to families' everyday needs. The first surprise comes from the interior space. Even though it's 15% smaller than the Model 3 on the outside, the Model 2 offers more usable space inside. This is due to the completely flat battery platform and the absence of a transmission tunnel. Children can move more freely between the rear seats, and parents gain 18% more usable space, something that, in practice, makes a huge difference when traveling, spending time with children, or even doing the monthly grocery shopping. And speaking of space, 
The rear trunk is 41% larger than that of other compact cars in the same class. And there's also the frunk, the front compartment that's become a signature feature of Tesla electric cars, which alone is more spacious than the main trunk of many sedans. In total, there's over 62 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats folded down, allowing you to easily carry everything from strollers to surfboards. All this without the need to install a roof rack or worry about the height of the tailgate. For those with busy family lives, these details make all the difference. But what truly transforms the Model 2 into a family car of the next level is its approach to safety and accessibility. The battery structure integrated into the chassis makes the car incredibly rigid and efficient at absorbing impacts. Preliminary crash test data shows that the Model 2 transfers 37% less force to occupants than luxury SUVs, and this despite costing a fraction of the price. And anyone who thinks the protection ends with adults is mistaken. The car has internal sensors that detect the presence of forgotten children or pets and send alerts to the owner's cell phone if necessary. A small detail, but one that could save lives. Additionally, Tesla has incorporated unprecedented accessibility solutions. The Model 2 was designed from the ground up to accommodate wheelchairs, including a new line of Tesla chairs with a direct-to-floor anchor system. A special access mode automatically lowers the rear suspension by 1.7 inches for easier entry and exit, and a lightweight foldable ramp is hidden under the trunk floor. This eliminates the need for expensive or complex aftermarket adaptations and makes the car accessible from the outset. For the first time, electric mobility natively includes people with disabilities. Comfort has also been carefully considered. The interior uses liquid and stain-resistant materials designed to withstand everything from glass spills 